as I've said before, whenever I do a video on it, any particular subject, really, you happen to mention, it always generates a response from somebody, a story, a comment. I've had an email through uh, to do with a particular experience about smart meters and the supply of gas to this individual's property. I want to share that with you now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me again. And uh, it's a glorious start of the week. I hope everyone's doing OK. Thank you very much for the support, as always, for the channel. Please continue to keep doing what you're doing and help us grow as we are. Very, very much appreciated. I can't tell you how much it means to me. And, you know, if we can help somebody, we've uh, achieved something, haven't we? Well, as I said in the introduction to this video, this is all about smart meters, a very, very popular subject, uh, it, it appears to be. There's always a lot of interaction on smart meters when they're spoken about. And I, I received an email from a guy who swapped supplier and seems to have regretted the decision. So I'll bring the email up. I'll have a read of it and I'll tell you what he said. Hi, Andy. I hope you are well. I am. Thank you very much. After watching your videos and keeping up to date watching, I remembered the one on smart meters and offer you a different aspect on charging. I switched from Shell just for the electric only at the start of August. Forgive me, I said gas. It's electric. As I am a low user and found a new company, Fuse, and their address is fuseenergy.com for the lower standing charge. And in just one month, found I saved £4.5p. Fantastic. But upon studying the charges breakdown, I found a very detailed breakdown. Please find attached screenshot, which you might like to use in a video. I had to Google terms like metering charge and found that the charges actually were more than my usage. The VAT is also laughable as what value does it add except for the necessary need for electric. Uh, very, very simple email there. Now, if I pull the uh, picture up that he sent me, that's this one here. And you can see electricity uh, for the month, £8.37. So that very well is uh, quite low. Government subsidies, £2.99. Fuse fee transmission, metering, and VAT. Now, there's terms I've not heard there before, fuse fee, metering, uh, and, uh, you know, is this just other ways of them uh, making money? Uh, I'm just Googling metering charges. Yes, the metering charge is the cost of the fees we directly incur from metering service providers on your behalf and pass on through to your bill. That's the definition of metering charges. So there's a couple of oddities there, uh, which I've not heard of before, but that is the email. The guy also said, uh, could I give his YouTube channel a plug or at least have a look at it? And I'll certainly do that too. Uh, share screen. I never mind a cheeky plug. There you go. XX and Gaz XX. That's his uh, YouTube channel. And that's him there. Uh, seems a nice chap. I think he's communicated with me before and all sorts of videos on different subjects. So I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to his channel. So certainly go and check him out. And uh, let me know what you think of the contents of his email. And has anybody got similar? Uh, that would be very interesting to know indeed. Anyway, thank you very much, as always, for your support. Uh, very much appreciated. I'll see you soon with one more. Toodaloo.